Shane Hayward, Jay Tech. I'd like to speak to you a little bit about PMIs and what actually covers PMI. Now, every shop's a little different. Um, basically, you know, preventive and maintenance inspections. Uh, PMs, preventive and maintenance. Um, why are they important? Well, uh, today's industry, as far as the uh, heavy uh, trucks go and everything, um, they carry a lot of different uh, equipment, products, uh, even military grade weapons. Um, long story short, uh, when it comes down to it, you got 80,000 pounds rolling down the road. It just doesn't stop on a dime. So we do what we call here in the uh, diesel heavy duty uh, truck, track, especially tractor trailer uh, industry, we call uh, preventative maintenance. Uh, basically, that is where you are preventing uh, a catastrophic fail, you know, such as an engine, um, changing the oil in the engine so it doesn't gum up and cause bearings to go out, uh, cause it to uh, fry piston rooms. Um, everything from uh, checking the air brakes. Uh, well, let me show you real quick. Uh, can you imagine going down the road and this thing right here cannot stop? Well, what happens? It's going to take five or six cars out before it stops. Or worse, you know, run over that little kid crossing the road. Even though the light was red, the truck couldn't stop. So you take care of those right there. All right? That's just part of it. So basically, we're going to do a quick walk through right quick. And then what you do is, you, when you go in, you're going to walk around. And this is, a, this is where you would start and actually end. Um, walk around you're looking for certain things you're looking for body you know defects uh is the mirrors are they on there are they cracked and working properly all right um for instance uh tires use your gate check the thread or uh, the tread down or you know even the lug nuts see that there 450 to 500 that's 450 to 500 foot pounds. That's a lot of torque. Them things come off, that wheel goes flying down the road at 75 mile an hour, it's never good. Uh, checking things like, uh, is the gas tank straps? Are they actually on there in hole? See those? Can you imagine if that thing broke, hit the ground at 70 miles an hour? It's a lot of pressure in there. It takes pressure and heat and oxygen on a diesel, and then it ignites. Uh, you know, everything of looking at the, the torsion and the uh, torsion bar and the tension bar. You know, what are those bushings right there was to go out? Or that bolt was to come off that arm right there. I've seen an instance where one of those arms break. You got the torsion and the tension bar. Uh, it went through right there and through here. And we get it again. Right through here. It was actually on the front one. And it punched a big hole in the differential. That's about, yeah, well, I say what, 10, probably maybe $30,000, depending on parts, labor, and all that. Time off, if you think about it. You know, the truck's down, not delivering. So they're not making no money. So that's a loss of money, loss of revenue. Companies don't like that. So they do preventative maintenance. If I was to see that one of those bushings were out and it needed to be replaced, it, I write up the order, it gets replaced. You know, what if, uh, say for instance, uh, the airbags, see those? For the ride height, we'll say those are down. Your can itself uh, leads back in a tilt. You're not sitting at the right height. Hard to see, you could possibly wreck. Or, right here. Not right there. Keeping up with the batteries. You got a load of cranberries. Very, very expensive. Uh, you know, they start decaying as soon as they pretty much get picked out, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, well, you got a certain time frame. The longer they're out there, the less cranberries are going to be good, you know, for products. You lose a lot of money. So, if your truck won't start because you have dead batteries, because no one checked up, did preventative maintenance, well, what happens? Now you just lose three, four hundred thousand dollars dollars well, Your company's not going to like that. So... That's why we do preventative maintenance. Not only is it to guarantee the safety of uh, the people around and the drivers and stuff, but it's also a guarantee and everything that um, 
your truck will stay on the road and basically uh, keep on delivering. Uh, if you're not on the road, you're not delivering, you're not making no money. Most importantly, see that right there behind me? US DOT? Well, when it comes to that, DOT regulates all these trucks. So every year you do a federal inspection. If it don't pass, the truck don't move. That's one of the main things you will be looking for. Not only is it is the brakes at the right, you know, spec for the stroke or is the wheels towards the right ones, but one of the big things is do you have your DOT regulation stickers on there? Yep. If you don't have that right there. DOT will stop. Anyway, for more anything on PMIs, uh, look me up under my channel. Um, I got a couple videos on there uh, talking about the brakes, um, going more in depth about the grease points. Uh, there's too many of them to go over. Uh, true PMI will be doing a full PMI, which take you about you know, three hours. It's a long time. It's a lot of truck. So anyway, for more information, look me up on my site. Thank you. Have a good day.